this. Go ahead, sister. Okay. I wanted to say uh, about, um, what about um, like the, the church, uh, the United Church of God that they worship on Saturdays? But they don't have the third and three angels' but messages. They don't, they don't have the gift nope. of prophecy. Nope. So even though they're worshiping and keeping the Sabbath, are they're not considered a remnant? Mm, they're not. Okay. I just wanted to make clear that up. And also, I just want to say I left the Holiness Church because of the Sabbath and the three angels' messages and the sanctuary. Yes, yeah, because somebody's, yeah, thank you. So even though other groups are worshiping on the seventh day Sabbath, it's not enough. Mm. You also have to have the three angels messages and Ellen White, AKA the spirit of prophecy. Right, Adventists but... love to harp on the Sabbath, the Sabbath, the Sabbath. When in reality, no, you need the whole package of but which Miles... the Sabbath is only a part of. But but Miles didn't didn't uh, Doug Bachelor say that you know others than Seventh Day Adventists will be saved uh, or something? It was a crusade, I guess. That was the external message. Man, the confusion. You're you're muted, CMB. Yeah, be unmuted. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> what I was saying is what they try to do is hook you into the Sabbath, right? Um, get you convinced that way, and then everything else comes through the door. It's Pandora's box, man. You know, it's the Trojan, it is a Trojan horse. horse. Facts, you know? Um, and that's exactly what it is, and you cannot get around that. And here's the thing. If you want to worship God on Saturday, knock yourself out. Please feel free to do that and enjoy it with your family. No one's saying you shouldn't, right? Um, you know, I take a very uh, Romans 14 approach to do it, right? Um, my concern, though, is when people start attaching salvation to this thing, that's when we start to get into some sticky waters that when we talk about uh, theologically speaking, it's a problem, right? Um, and if you're thinking that it is the Bible Sabbath, you might want to do some research on your uh, on your history, like for real research, okay, on your history and see okay. how this thing came from, right? Again, can't recommend it enough. You know, Heidi in plain sight, volumes one, two, and three, right, <laughs> from uh, years uh, from Pastor EJ Thunderlordston, right, and also you can find also um, lying for God, right, uh, it was by by Thunder, uh, Carrie Wynn, um, Irina, and many, many, many others who have put that together um, to demonstrate what and how the Sabbath came about in the way that SDs keep it. OK, um, and it goes into detail about Bakayoki and all the rest of that stuff from Sabbath to Sunday. So you can find plenty of information about that. That is actually vetted historical information and not some nonsense that have been piecemealed from other historical stuff like you find in the Great Controversy. 